I'm gonna I don't know. turn the video on. Uh, the video? Yeah, I just started it because of this board. Wait, you're uh. I oh. don't know. Oh, I haven't gosh. been before, but I am now. So you're you're uh, recording now. So there's so Hermit Market have, Square here. I have to actually but... be interesting now. Whoops. That's fine. <laughs> you don't have to be interesting. But then there's this Kings Court Villa madness. <sighs> The problem the problem is there's nothing you can king to generate money other than like King's Court mint and draw everything. But I mean you can do that. That's fine. Yeah. The thinning, if you want copper's gone, is mint, and there's plenty of draw to support it. Council room doesn't really help Hermit Market Square all that much. Hermit Market Square's super good, but like this other thing looks pretty good. Yeah. You can I think you can just have one mega turn as long as you have it before the opponent does. Um, then you can probably just win on piles and, and the only thing that matters there is buys. Well, I'm I'm contemplating uh making a, a proposition. What's that? Since since like you're better at um you're better at Dominion than I am, but uh specifically you're better at like putting strategies together on the fly than I am. Why don't we go, like, Hermit Market Square against other thing? That's fine. And I'll do Hermit Market Square, because, like, I know how to do that. And then you do other thing and try to beat Hermit Market Square. Do you want to pull up my article on Hermit Market Square? Well, no, I'd... Um, it's basically <laughs> just as long as I keep track of, um, of how many of each thing I have, I'll be fine. Probably. Um, so let me let me grab a notepad. So hermits hermit zero uh madman zero market square zero. So increase that to one. Yeah, this is how I play Hermit Market Square. <laughs> I actually keep track of... Oh, gosh, this is not good. So... Next turn, I'm probably going to find my Envoy. The plan will be to buy a Villa at that point and then play the Hermit. It will be kind of nice to have a second Hermit in the deck at that point. That turn will be a lot better with it. I could also high roll and potentially like get a mint that turn, in which case a second hermit could be useful. Getting the market square afterward on a thin deck is not a problem and could be good for building. What's my other option? Get a caravan? Eh. Doesn't seem all that important. Caravan's fine, but... Yeah, let's get the hermy. All right. <sighs> wow. Looks like you're experiencing botherations. Wow. Wait, are those four cards coppers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, from your reaction, I'm guessing they're I not. can't even... I can't even believe. Uh, actually, no. It was it was right to deny the copper, because you could have seen the the fact that this would happen to me by by the fact that I was going to draw three estates, and you knew I'd have the hermit in hand based on that. This is terrible. This sets me back a lot. I don't really want to put another treasure in my deck, but I don't think I can do this envoy play again with the villa. I'm going to have trouble with that. I could get a Hermit. That's not going to accomplish anything. I'll get my one Market Square. Alrighty. Ding. 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 So increase that to one. Come on, Ella. Discard the estate. <laughs> oh. You didn't. What did you discard? A Copper? Okay. Now you can actually do the thing. 
Villa is an amazing card. Gorilla's pretty decent, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, so do that. Grab one of those. And ding. This is not coming together, by the way. I'm, I'm really not sure that... I'm really not sure I'm going to be able to do anything here. Hmm. Well, it's not trash. Get one of those and get one of those. Okay, so... Uh, we got to get a madman here. What does is, what is Hermit say? If you didn't buy any cards this turn... Okay, so if I villa and then do something else, I can't madman. It's important to put a madman in the deck. It's like really the only chance I have of making anything useful happen. So the one thing that I am always unsure of in Herb and Market Square decks is if I have gotten all the hermits that I want, um, do uh, and I get a hermit and three coppers, do I buy a market square and keep the hermit, or do I not buy the market square and? I, I don't think you do either of those things. So, um, I mean, I'd... if you have all the hermits you want, the next priority is you want to make your hermits into madmen. So you definitely don't buy anything. Okay. What you gain with your hermit, I think, is the last hermit. Really? Yeah. But I have seven. Right. Um. So on this particular board, it's not going to serve you to, like... You need to get all the market squares now. Get another trasher and have a bigger turn, but it's just extremely important for you to play a hermit every turn. And as your hermits turn into madmen, having more hermits in the deck is fine. And also, on your big turn, you can just trash the hermit to start your chain anyway. Uh, so I really think gaining the Hermit here is better. Like, you're just going to gain all the market squares anyway. It's probably going to happen before you go off. Really? In in this case, the Hermit empties a pile card, which is pretty useful. Like, that uh, Hermit's yeah, going to have to go, and you win here by ending the game as quickly as possible. Okay. So, yeah, this is this is definitely the right play for you. There's really no doubt for me. Come on, let me have the madman, Ella. I have no actions left. I don't have any treasures in my hand. <clears throat> nice what? try. Ella! That's four. Ella! That's four coppers. You could have very easily villain. <laughs> Ella! Why? Oh, God. You can have just the not... madman next turn. The perfect envoy denial every time. <laughs> every time. Tactical strike. I mean, I know uh, how to play Dominion. Here? Yeah, but you're not supposed to actually do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, minty fresh. Hmm. All right. Uh, don't trash, please. Blam. Blam. Four and four. And oh, one, I need more market squares. <laughs> uh, I think I need to get a council room here. To buy. So now, really, all I need in my life is King's Courts. All my wait, pocket squares. Oh wait. I have seven dollars. I don't really want to play this hermit. Up. I'd rather get a king's court. I don't want to gain anything else. I really need to get a second king's court in the deck, or else nothing useful is going to happen. The mint's going to be important for payload. I really should get like a lot more king's courts. I just don't. Ugh. Okay, so normally I just start off the turn by playing Villa Envoy, but my Madman's in these three cards, and if I just play these two Market Squares, I have a decent shot of drawing it. I'd really like to do that before playing Villa Envoy. That way I can get my deck in my hand, king the thing I want, and potentially actually make something happen this turn. Can I actually go off this turn? 
am I going to need, like, those market squares to reveal? It would be kind of nice to have, but I can't go off without the Madman. I'm going to play one of them at least. I have, like, enough more. I'm going to play this. Okay, that's annoying as heck, but this is fine. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, time for Brain Hurty Hurt. I can only buy one King's Court right now. I can I can play gold silver copper buy a king's court and then play a market square to put it in hand then I have king king in my life then I can king a mint get more golds draw like a pathetic number of things with envoy <laughs> I would probably have to king a hermit. What if what if I just aimed a pile of states this turn? Maybe that's more feasible. Like I could just king a whole bunch of plus buy cards and do it that way. I have to get a market square. That's fine. The market square pays for itself in gains. I'm just short on money at this point. So how can I get the most money? I can king a mint. That's nine dollars of economy. I could also hermit trash something and reveal market squares but i feel like i need those market squares for draw nah, i need things to draw kinging mint gets me three golds and i don't have anything i want to actually trash okay okay so so i king a mint I get three golds. I can just draw the golds. Hermit gain the market square, and then buy estates. Right? I have enough for that. Right? I think I, have to, I think I just have enough to do that. Okay. And if I counted correctly, this is enough. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Manzies. So what what turn was that? Turn eleven, I think. Nice. Turn eleven. Were you going off next turn? Yes, I was actually. Oh, geez. So that was first player too. I had some crappy things happen to me. Yeah, but that you you pulled it off. That was impressive. Yeah. I can't wait to see the video. <laughs> That's, I'm still not positive what I did was <laughs> good. Well, it, I mean, it was better than Formula Hermit Market Square. There really wasn't anything to support Hermit Market Square on this board. Normally you're looking for something, I mean, you're looking for something that costs three or less. Hermit so... Market Square supports itself. I thought that was the whole point. Well, yeah, I mean, it's good enough to go for without support, but like, if, you, if you're going to go up against something... Mm. You know, having support helps you. Like, if alms was here, you went a lot faster, right? Because you could have alms for your buys while true. making your herdman and True, and so true, yeah. So, like, alms and scheme both well. kind of accomplished that same yeah. thing. I guess... Other trashers uh, wouldn't have helped you because it's not a mirror here. Yeah. Um, well... Something that gives you plus buy that you can gain with a hermit can be helpful, especially since you ended up being short on market squares. Even if you went off, it looks like I don't think you would have been able to empty estates that... Well, you could have hermit gained a market square. Yeah. So you would have had five, and then you would have had three hermit gains. Uh, yeah, yeah, you would have been one gain short, yeah. so you couldn't have ended it that turn. Mm-hmm. It... Yeah, but this was... Um, well, I could have bought a villa. I don't know... Does that help? I, I'm... I'm not... If you had enough money to empty the villas as a pile. 
then no, 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 you could have had wait, the games I, to end the game, you would have um, needed more money. That that theoretically could have happened. Yeah, with I only five market squares, could you? You might have been able to have that kind yeah, of money. Yeah, but I could hermit gain the estates. You forget. So I still could have emptied right. the estate pile. Like I would have. Like mm -hmm. if you hadn't, um, if you hadn't won on that mega turn, I'm pretty sure I could have pulled it off. I don't. But you can hermit gain estates, but you have five buys. Because and you have hermits. four market squares in deck, you have three hermits, but there was a market square in the pile at the start of that turn. Yeah, it, well, even if I didn't manage to get all the um, all the buys, I could have gotten a villa and gotten an extra buy that way. But it costs you buy to get the villa. Well, true. So you'd have to empty the villa pile for that to be profitable, which was where I was going with mm. that. But if you draw and play that market square, then you have six buys and two hermit gain maybe maybe it still could have worked yeah you might have been able to do it that way yeah i'm pretty sure it could have worked but and you had you had the madman's in hand it doesn't and, matter because uh, because uh, um you first player damage. you got there first well i yeah. i don't even think it was first player advantage i think it was strategy advantage well i i went first well. so you can always blame first player advantage even <laughs> if you were losing by more than one turn yeah. tips from a professional dominion player I actually think that I have the most in winnings of any in Dominion winnings of anyone in the world. I think I've won more money playing Dominion than anyone else in the world. Wow. Yeah. I'm I'm the winningest Dominion player in the world. Yeah, no bigs. Yay. Anyway, anyway that was that game.